Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our gathering hymn is in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 486, Apostles of Our Ancient Faith, number 486. <clears throat> Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. morning Today we celebrate the feast day of the Apostles Simon and Jude. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, today we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us for the times we have lacked mercy for others, lacked forgiveness in our lives. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your grace. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In Christ, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm 19 is, their voice goes out through all the earth.
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James and John, and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. These multitudes had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and healed all of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Luke talk, St. Luke in his Gospel always talks about Jesus praying before decisions especially. Before Jesus called his apostles and sent them out on mission, he spent the night in prayer to God the Father. He called the 12 from his many disciples. A disciple is different from an apostle. A disciple is a student who learns from a rabbi or teacher. So, an apostle, so that's what a disciple is, a student learning. An apostle is then the person sent out. A student, a person is sent out from after the training, really, is what it is. So Jesus understood this group of 12 apostles to represent the 12 tribes of a new Israel and were to be the nucleus of the new, renewed Israel. The primary focus of Jesus' mission was to renew the people of Israel and through them to renew all of humanity. Israel's calling, according to the prophet Isaiah, was to be light to the nations. In renewing Israel, Jesus sought to renew its mission to all the nations. Two of the twelve whom Jesus called to himself were Simon, and two were called Jude or Judas. Simon Peter and Simon the Zealot were not the same, and Judas the son of James and Judas Iscariot. Simon Peter and Judas Iscariot are better known for opposite reasons, obviously. Today's feast celebrates the other Simon and Jude. Simon's other name, the Zealot, suggested he was zealous in keeping God's law, and so he came to recognize Jesus as the fuller revelation of God's will for our lives and then the Jewish law was. It is said that both Simon and Jude were martyred on the same day. They remained faithful to the Lord's call even at the cost of their lives. In the first reading, Paul reminds us that we are part of a spiritual building, the church that has the apostles like Simon and Jude for its foundations and Christ himself as the cornerstone. The physical buildings like our beautiful cathedral basilica we call churches are there to help us to be true to our calling as members of a spiritual building, what Paul calls in our reading a holy temple in the Lord, where God lives in the spirit. As Simon and Jude were faithful to their calling each day, we seek to be faithful to our calling to, to follow God's spirit and to allow the spirit of the risen Lord to shape our lives. We never fully answer this calling in the course of our earthly lives. We are always growing into this calling. If we are to grow into our calling to allow God's spirit to shape our lives, we need to keep, out, keep on reaching out towards the Lord to touch his presence, allow him to touch us. One of the primary ways we do this is through our prayer. At the beginning of the gospel reading, I said Jesus uh, went out into the hills to pray. We need to find our own version of these hills in our lives where we can be prayerfully present to the Lord. Our prayers of intercession today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our bishop, for all those who shepherd our people, the Church of God, we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, especially in Israel and Palestine, in Sudan and Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. We pray for healing for all of our sick brothers and sisters who are undergoing treatments, who are in hospital for various reasons. We pray for all the sick. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray for all those who have died, for the recently deceased. Uh, we pray for Frank O'Leary Jr. We also pray today for our intention of Karen Carew, John Roach, and Lynn Stacy. On this, uh, the birthday of Diane O'Mara here, one of our great leaders here in our parish, we pray for the deceased of her family, her husband John O'Mara, Ada and George Hallwell. For all those who have died in the peace of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. For your own intentions today at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostle Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to a worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. And therefore now and for ages unending with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Peter our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Simon and Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, the people of God, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. We share the peace of Christ with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion hymn is in Celebrate in Song, number 6.1, Bread for the World, 6.1.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our masses and let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is in the is in celebrate in song six point three three. God, we praise you. Number six point thirty three. Oh, 